What's happening, everybody? Jay Shockblast here, and check it out. We got Hondo Onaka. This is like my fourth take because I keep calling him Honda. I can't help it. He looks like he's a car. But anyway, he is a Weequay Pirate, um, and he is... <laughs> He, he popped into the Clone Wars, uh, I don't think he popped in right away, he popped in like a couple seasons in, and uh, he became one of the central figures uh, of the Clone Wars cartoon series. Um, he is the ultimate shyster. Uh, he switched sides a number of times. Uh, he has gone against uh, the Jedi, he has fought with the Jedi, uh, he has fought with the... Um, the Separatist, he has fought against the Separatist. He goes wherever the money is, and he always seems to come out of it. Um, he captured Dooku, he captured Obi-Wan and, and Anakin, and the craziness, uh, one of the craziest things uh, that I saw was that, um, was when he actually um, popped up <laughs> with Aura Singh, and we found out that he was the ex-lover of Aura Singh. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll talk more about Aura Singh in, in her video, but uh, I'll, I'll tell you, man, I, I did not expect that, okay? And that was a really great way to bring in a character um, that, that really just didn't, didn't have a huge place in the Clone Wars universe and uh, really establish some really cool backstory and kind of tie things together. Um, so he has the staff ability, uh, which, oh, no, ha, I thought that would be a staff, but maybe not. Uh, he does have a staff, though, um, and he's got his gun where he can shoot some stuff. Um, I wish there was a way that you could, ah, uh, there we go. Now that we have his staff out, we can maybe attack, nope. Switches right back to his gun. I wish they made a way where if people had a melee weapon and a, uh, a, a ranged weapon, you could, like, choose to switch between the two. But uh, in any event, um, man, he's been part of some pretty epic stories. And he also popped back up in Rebels last season, I believe. Um, so I, I've definitely seen him there with the Ghost crew. And um, I don't know that, uh, you know, there's... Uh, I mean, we could see more of him in Season 3. I mean, they really skipped forward a bit. Um, so, he's also been... He's been linked with a lot of people. He's been linked with Boba Fett. He's been linked with his father, Jango Fett. I mean, he's really popped around the Star Wars universe. So, I'm not really surprised they included him as part of the Clone Wars pack. Actually, it's, it's really great that they did. It's funny. Like, all of this... Um, like, I've been... I've been really bouncing around with the Clone Wars uh, the last two days since the DLC came out and even a little bit of uh, Rebels trying to not sound like a complete moron uh, when it comes to some of these characters because it's been a while since uh, you know I've, I've really sat down with them and it really has me nostalgic and really has me excited for season three of Rebels I am going to be watching some Rebels uh, throughout the day and uh, trying to get caught up because Rebels comes back next week and um, we're getting into Grand Admiral Thrawn territory, and I cannot wait for that. And hopefully, you know, it, I feel like they've kind of abandoned this game, but I, I hope that if we do get, like, one of those free DLCs at the end, like the Thank You DLC that they sometimes do, I'm kind of hoping that we get Thrawn. So, um, but we're talking about Hondo Anaka here. Um, he's... You know, if I had to compare him to like a comic book character, he's Larflees, you know? He's full of greed, like high as bitter, he wants everything, wants anything that he can get. Um, so there you go. Um, but anyway, uh, this is Hondo Onaka, um, definitely a character that is, I mean, as far as things go with this, this game, he's pretty basic, but really a fun character in the, the grand scheme of things. You can do bounty hunter missions, uh, shoot Lego targets, and again, you can do the stack, the staff socket, if you will. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see ya.